Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and if you're here for the very first time you're really welcome and it's lovely to meet you. My name is Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Friday we bring you something food related, maybe some meal planning, maybe, maybe some meal prep maybe a shopping haul and today I'm going to cook something for you. Now I don't eat uh, gluten so it's quite difficult for me to just go and grab a pizza from the supermarket and every now and then you know what I just fancy a pizza. So today I'm going to show you how I make my gluten free pizza. It's so quick and it's so easy and you can just substitute gluten free flour for regular flour in this recipe and make regular pizza with regular flour just the same. Now we put sausage on our pizza today, but you could put anything on your pizza. Enjoy the video. going to run through my ingredients to make my gluten-free pizza. I have got some bread flour, some gluten-free bread flour. I have got yogurt. What I do with this is I weigh out the yogurt first and I add in the flour so it's the same weight. And that and some salt makes my base. For my topping I use pasta sauce You've got pizza sauce you can make your own i just buy this it's under a euro a jar i couldn't make it for that i will remove the skins off the sausages cut them into pieces and pop those on top so i'll make the base i'll cook the base for about five to ten minutes i'll then remove the base from the freezer add the sauce pop the skinned sausages on top that i've cut into pieces and sprinkle on top. I sometimes use hard Italian cheese, I sometimes use grated French cheese. I know some of you watching may be here for the very first time and say, why do you not just grate your own cheese? Because grated Emmental here in France is cheaper than it would be to buy a block of Emmental. I will probably sprinkle some Grana Padano on as well. I have a sachet of baking powder here. I'll use all of that and mix it in with some salt into the flour. And I am gonna get cooking. base all rolled out on a big baking tray on a piece of baking paper. I've skinned the sausages, I've cut them into pieces, I've cut the some tomatoes in half, I've got some cheese ready to go, I've got my pasta sauce ready to go. This is going to go in the oven just for five minutes and then I'll take it out and put the topping on.
there is the sausage pizza out of the oven. I left it in there for about 15 minutes on 200. I'm just going to put on a bit more cheese because why not? There we go, a bit of grana padano on there. So there it is, all finished. We'll let it cool down a little bit and we have got sausage pizza for dinner. go on hit the thumbs up button I mean come on who doesn't love a bit of homemade pizza thank you to everyone who leaves a comment we read everyone we apologize if we can't answer all of them but we promise you we do read every single one of them thank you to all subscribers old and new we're getting so close to 30,000 subscribers it costs you nothing to subscribe so go on hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon thanks everybody bye for now